Recognition in speed cubing is just as, if not more important than look ahead and turning fast. This is because in order to do both of those things, you need to recognize the case that you are dealing with. However, your recognition is not what it should be, as well as most cubers also. Can you recognize this PLL case quick enough to not waste time? Or turning the U layer, even wasting more time? If you could do that, then how about this one? Or even this one? PLL cases are one of the hardest things to recognize in a solve, just because they have four different positions on the cube. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recognize the hardest cases from each angle. And I will also shout out an amazing PLL trainer so that you can test yourself in practice. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with R perms. So if you couldn't tell, these both are actually R perms if you rotate the cube. However, what we wanna do is two-sided PLL recognition just because it's faster. So how you would recognize R perms without seeing the block is you have a checker pattern of five. So one, two, three, four, and five of adjacent colors. And which one you have is depending on what side it's going towards. So what I mean by this is uh, the RB perm, you're gonna have the checker on the right side. So it's kind of coming along this side right here. So we would go U2 and then just do our normal RUD alg. And then for this R perm, we can see that the block, the checker pattern of one, two, three, four, five is on the left side. So we know that it is back here. In this case, I achieve a special alg for you guys. What we can do is, I'll put it on the screen. It's uh, basically this, it's really fast. It's basically just an inverse of a normal R perm. And it goes like this. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to recognize V perms, Y perms, and E perms apart. So obviously this is a Y perm, but if you're not holding it from this angle, how you can recognize it is the very fact that the corner makes a checker pattern right here, as you can see. And then we just go U2 and do our Y perm. So the thing that separates the V perm from the rest is it has the checkers However, it's like this towards you instead of on the sides. So we can go U prime and just do our normal V perm. So now for the E perm, you're gonna realize that these two edges are solved correctly as well as the rest. So you can recognize it from any angle. Then you can just do your normal alg. So starting off with the GB perm where the block is right here, we can look at the headlights and the edge. And we're gonna see if the edge is opposite to the headlights. So green is opposite of blue. So we know that's opposite. And how we can tell it apart from the other case that is opposite is seeing if it has an H perm pattern. So this does because H perms uh, are like this. You just need this corner right here being orange. So what we do is we just do U and we do our ALK. And for this one, it doesn't have the H perm pattern, uh, so we just do it as it is. So this is a GC perm right here. Uh, so how we recognize it apart from the other one is its edge is not opposite, it is adjacent. And this has a block right here, the other adjacent case. So we're gonna go U2 and then just do our L. And this of course does have a block, so we're just gonna do our kiss. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. The PLL trainer will be in the description so that you guys can practice the tips and tricks I gave you to recognize these hard cases. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day.